Okay, is everything done spontaneously combusting? Also, thank you and hello, Barrage, for telling me that there was no audio on the starting soon screen. It was intentional for a long time, and then I did put in some, uh, put in, a, like, a, a song. But then I also checked the advanced audio properties, only to realize that the output is muted. And not only I was hearing it. Good job, me. Good job. I had that some odd days ago. Like, maybe a few weeks ago, I think. <laughs> also, I did see that Sip Robin, so I'll, I'll go ahead and take it. Also, Hydro Bling. Hello! Hello, it's just... Milk? I... <laughs> Sorry if I butchered that. Sophie, what do you want? Okay, fine, I'll throw the ball. Sheesh. Dog's in a playful mood today. <laughs> the crab is roaming the channel seeking out fish to eat. Oh no. Y you keep that crab away from my fish. <laughs> What's my favorite anime? Mmm. Good question. I like stuff along the lines of, uh, let's see, I, I like One Piece, I like Bleach, Black Coat Over, Whoa. I'm guessing Shiva got the ball, that's why Sophie's barking. I remember liking the strongest sage with the weakest crust, but I don't know if they added more seasons to that. I think of all this I like. I haven't watched Furin yet, but it seems something like right up my alley. Hey, Jimmy. Welcome in, my dude. <coughs> yes, work, work, work. Let everyone hear you sing the song of your people, even though you're not a husky. <laughs> Death Note. Actually, I think. I think, uh, my moderator, Niv, likes Death Note. <laughs> you like that emote combo? Fair enough. Oh, hey, that's Akia's. That's right. I I recognize that lol fell. <laughs> I think last, when I left off here, I, fini I finished the Little Ladies Day event. You know, the Little Ladies slash Hatching Tide. But, I haven't really done much of main story questline stuff. <laughs> uh, I haven't gotten fully into Heaven's Word yet. <laughs> so, I did claim I was going to do it today. I gotta beat the ever-living snot out of Nab Nabrialis. Your name's dumber than the rest of them. Nabrialis. <laughs> I gotta go to Revenant's Toll for it. Okay. <laughs> you know, I just remembered. 
that I need to go to the gold saucer to get my daily mini cact pot. <laughs> I wonder if I should do it before or after being the living snot of Nabrialis. Because I don't want to forget. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta go into the cellar, don't I? That's where the portal is. Uh, the Lollafells are out in full force. <laughs> I walk into the Rising Stones Tavern and <laughs> there's already two right there. Ah, uh, gotta love hearing the Asian theme right when I walk in the Rising Stones door. <sighs> I love dealing with Thassians. Note the sarcasm. Oh, it's a trial. One to eight players. I will be synced upon entry. I feel a little scared. Is there something I should know about this fight? feel nervous doing new stuff with new with people I don't know but mm, okay 13 minutes ow oh hi moon burrito I forgot you were there <laughs> oh. I forgot about her right here Yeah, she's just, uh, chilling on the floor. Oh no, you're here. What? Jimmy, why you sound so alarmed? You're making me concerned. Jimmy? <sighs> Jimmy! Oh boy. Getting no answer equals very bad. Yeah, this is where I last left off with my Spain story quest line. <laughs> so we went from like a relatively wholesome gathering stuff in Little Ladies uh, day. Last week, we did that. <laughs> we need to jump into this. <laughs> and Philia's life is in danger. The relic got stolen, and now I gotta steal with a stinking Asian. The crabs found their food source. Better not be my fish, or I'm gonna punch every one of them. Actually, scratch that. I'll, I'll scald them with hot water. <laughs> Should kill them pretty fast. I mean, Jimmy, if you're up for it, I mean... You're welcome to drag me into a party <laughs> to do it. That way I at least have someone I know in there with me, but... Uh, okay, Sophie, I will throw the ball. Using Labyrinth, uh, I see. 
it's all good. I mean, I've, my, my average wait time is 13 minutes, so it's not like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> ah, the life of a DPS main. Sophie, give me the ball and set a freaking tease! Uh, in the... <sighs> oh, such wonderful spoilers. Genshin is an 85 gigabyte update? What? Uh... I, I gotta say, Red, uh, Jimmy... It's not too much... ...of a spoiler, because, um... I may have looked at, like... ...quest- main story quest line names to see how far I am until I get to Heaven's Word, and... I saw the one right after this one, and I'm like, oh, that's so promising. She's already dead. She's right behind you. I don't know. She's... She's talking to me right now. <laughs> She's definitely dying, though, I think. <sighs> well, I reckon I should go do my daily mini character pot, eh? You can't un uninstall games anymore, Trevor? That's so odd. What is your Steam Drive situ situation? Does that sound so odd? Should be able to uninstall stuff. Oh, you wait, you no longer uninstall games. Uh, oh, you're just no longer motivated to, okay. Yeah, it does kind of suck, Jimmy. Eh? She's actually kind of cool. And they just did her dirty. I just hope there's nobody else in here who's worried about spoilers. <laughs> uh, I thought I need to go to the gold saucer. I can do my stuff while I wait. Driving? That's a lot of storage. Wow, okay. It's just plug in another one and the drive letter grows. Oh, that sounds oh so lovely, Jimmy. <laughs> They'll keep reminding us of the pain throughout essentially the entire game. Is that the mini cactbot broker supposed to be here? Yeah. He just didn't spawn for a second. <laughs> it's sad that people just, you know, just get caught in crossfire in unnecessary ways. It's a very real thing, in both in games and IRL, so... <sighs> it's just depressing when it, it happens. It's like, oh, I actually kind of like this person. Then they're- then you find out they're dead the next day. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, what's 15? 180? 5, 6... I 
And I just feel like she's in a random lane. Hey, okay, I chose. I chose well. I got 1080. Ah! The other one was 1800, though. <laughs> it's a source of growth for Aryan's J. Hmm. Gotta get out of that shell, buddy. <gasps> Look at this. This is a winning line right here, boys. The three highest numbers. 3,600. Let's go. Today is a good day for a mini character plot. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What's 19? 36 MTP. Uh, no. Huh. <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't know if I can get any decent lines here. Okay, 252. Yeah, this wasn't a super amazing ticket, so I, I actually got the best outcome here. 252. Yeah, overall, that's pretty good, I would say. Oh, yeah, you, you know what I, I, I've been up to the other day? I, I did say some stuff about it on Twitter. <laughs> I am learning Guilty Gear Strive on my very own shiny new leverless input device. A sort of hitbox, if you will. Oh, hi. Hi, fellow Ellison. What? You're, you're not on the beach, though. <laughs> <sighs> I, I you're probably gonna hear me say this so many times, but why? Just why? <laughs> when things happen, and, and everyone else responds with, "It's Final Fantasy, dude." I'm like, yeah, I know, but I still can't get used to it. <laughs> I see. You look so adorable on my bed. The way she lays down or sits, or actually, the way she lays down specifically, she always crosses her paws like a little lady. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> la la la. Be cute for the chrysalis. Hey, do you reckon we might get in a little bit faster if we queue up together? Because it kind of sucks having to wait like 13 minutes. <laughs> wait, why did you just pop first? What? Where are you playing as? DPS? Healer? Tank? Uh, um, Shiba, that's my... That's my headphone cord. How in the world did you get yourself wrapped up in it? DPS? What? You... Oh... Oh... oh. I'm guessing it's just slow queue times on Dio Bullets today or something. There are certain times of the day that the queue times go a little faster than, you know, right now. <laughs> but I think I might 
be in the slow part of the day. And most of the time when I see the, like, the most people in general, even, like, regardless of, well, Linda or whatever, most of them show up in the evening. And I'm assuming that's, like, after, like, people's work and stuff. There's a person from Diabolos in there? Internal screaming. Thirteen and a half minutes, and I'm still here. Help. <laughs> the kitchen update is coming down at like 21 millibytes per second. That doesn't sound too bad. It's technically higher than your connection's rated speed. Oh. I wonder if Pixel's online. I think he's working right now. Friends list. Yeah, they're offline right now. Rip. I saw that Ellison go flying. <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. I hate when Snobbert does that. Like, you think you're fine, like, like, let's just say you're, like, right here. And then Snobber just decides to randomly pick your spot. Infuriating! <laughs> Wait, Godric the Grafted from Elden Ring dribbling? Oh. Him getting absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Actually, I remember facing him down with my buddy Otto. Good times. We need to get back in Elden Ring. It's been so long since I've played. It's been 16 minutes. Am I just that unlucky? Ugh. Oh, finally, it took me complaining about it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay, we're finally in here. Oh boy. Ethereal tier and phase two. Save that limit break three for it. Oh, okay. You just finished yours and I'm just starting mine. Lovely. Meteors in phase two are only Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh no, he's got the Illumini Illuminati symbol on his face. Uh. Okay, um... Oh, yay, I get to see the tr might of Zodiac. I'm so scared. Dodge AoEs, do not get Chocobo Meteored. Got it. The party has told me it is only for tanks to tank, so... Oh, we got ads in a minute. Heads up, people. I, I would I'd pause for you guys, but... Uh... Are those the meteors? What are these things? Ouch. I have no idea what I'm doing! I'm just gonna try s surviving. Stop those from hitting the boss. The the black circle things. Dark four. Alternate the color orbs you get. It by here. Um, I'll try. <laughs> Oh, I love how I suddenly get Thundercloud right after I cast it. Gabrielis! You know nothing about black magic. You're the amateur. Uh... Okay. Oh, there's the there's the black thingy again. Ouch. Oh wait, I gotta alternate the colors. Uh. Okay. Shadow sprite. Huh. Hurry up! Let me have my man award. Thank you. One red, then black. Rinse and repeat. Okay. Thank you for the useful info. Worth a sacrifice. What? Quake. Wait, what? Are we supposed to be closer? Oh, no! I don't want to get caught in the AoE. No, thank you. <laughs> Power over time? Since when? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll trust people here. Hold up! Wait, why do I remember this? Attack the rift. Yeah, 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 yeah. I attacked it last second. <laughs> I don't know. 
know why I got, uh... Old. Secret Asian man. <laughs> what? GG, trial done. Perish! Hmm, not yet. They felt so confident with my light gone. Well, guess what? You got your butt kicked either way. Thank you. I'm gonna say thank you to these peoples. Uh, there are no party members. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> you forgot he was holding an affiliate hostage? <laughs> My dude. <laughs> That's the whole reason why we went into the Chrysalis. Aside from getting the, uh, the, the relic. <laughs> <sighs> You're safe. Thank the twelve. You definitely sound like you're dying. Well, that's very ominous. Very ominous. <sighs> you may have bested me this day. You sound like a nerd. Next, what of all the days to come? Remember, light no longer holds sway here. I may return whensoever I wish. Again and again and again. It's been four Thank years, you. Jimmy, huh? <laughs> you will falter, and the staff will be mine. Until next time, Sion. You sure about that, nerd? Sounds like Frieza, oh. I hope this works. I genuinely hope this works. What? What trickery is this? <laughs> Please tell me it works. Okay, now what? You two Samati to gather ether. Quickly, before he breaks free. I, I, oh, okay. But it's it's kind of shattered, but okay. I'll I'll just use the key piece. Concentrate. Call to mind the time you struck down Lahabrea with the blade of light. I will do my best. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Moon Brita! Concerning. If only we had a bit more ether. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Moonbreeder, what are you doing? She's crazy. 
But I understand it. I understand now. The choice you made in death. There is life. Farewell, Orionche. You damned old cur. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> Guys, if you if you don't want the if you don't want the tear fest right now, you're you're welcome to <laughs> you're welcome to silence the stream or look away. It should only be a few more minutes. Feels train stops for no one. <laughs> Wait, did she use every ounce of her ether beam? What? No! It, it cannot end! I am eternal! I am immortal! <laughs> Frida, she's, she's gone. Went out the way she lived. Epic. Dread wing, uh... See ya, nerd! Navrialis! This device is a legacy of new you know, I can hear Cider Spider's words in, in that. <laughs> what do you do, said Dread wing? Uh... I shall hold on to it for safekeeping. Wise decision. Minfinia, uh, are you all right? Well, uh... um, oh, we were surveying northern Thanalan when we received the distress call. We returned as swiftly as we were able. You kind of missed it. Uh, kinda. What happened here? Where is Moonbreeder? <sighs> yeah, about that. She's kinda um uh gone. <clears throat> she gave her life to temper the blade of light. I. Rather than await the inevitable, she took her fate into her own hands. Went out with a bang. Gotta respect it. Does, does, <sighs> does he? Yeah. Well, I, 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 I take that as a yes now. Friend, there is something I must tell you. <sighs> I heard all, my lady. The moon sinketh, taking her leave of the heavens. Yet her passing heraldeth the coming of a new day. <laughs> Moonbreeder hath fulfilled her destiny, hath she not? I mean, she she did manage to pioneer an insanely amazing solution to Asin, so... Across the seas in a Charlian motherland, Moonbreeder and I did study sage tutelage of Master Luiswa. Full oft did he impress upon us that knowledge existeth to serve the greater good. 
This sentiment, however, was contrary to the nation's policy of neutrality, which censured intercedence in the affairs of foreign lands. <laughs> in spite of vehement opposition, he founded the Circle of Knowing and journeyed hitherto the heart of Eorzea. Through his noble sacrifice, the Charlan take notes. Yet this great soul, whom all should rightly have honored, was branded a pariah in his own land. How dare they? His peers did accuse him of forsaking his duty as a man of learning. I'm meddling in the course of history. You king me. He saved your lives. There would be no history. There would be no people. There'd be nothing. Idiots. He left Charlayan behind. Master Louis Soir gave no word to signal his intent to Moonbreeder. Close as they were, as master and disciple, she was deeply wounded by the sudden exclusion from his confidence. Above all, however, she was confused. Try as she might, she could ill comprehend her master's motive. The slanders that were heaped upon him after his passing served only to inflame the turmoil within her. For years upon end, she knew not what to believe. Torn as she was, twixt the man whom she revered and the man who forsook her and his duty both. The Louis Soir I knew would never forsake his duty, much less one of his own. This I know full well, my lady. Twas not for want of love that Master Louis Soir hid his intent. He but desired that Moonbreeder discover her own path, free of the shadow of his influence. I can understand that part. Long did I contemplate revealing the truth to her, and long did I hold my peace. After all, was it not Master Louis Soir's wish that she come to the truth unaided? Uh, I told myself it was, and resolved to let her suffer. Knowingly did I deny my friend the comfort she craved. And now she hath gone to her rest, with doubt still in her heart. Um... I don't know, in her last moments, she said she she finally understood. So... I don't think she really went out with too many doubts. Speakest thou in earnest? Yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> Were your light on point? <laughs> Hey there, Game of Red! Uh, the realization hath set her free. She may now find the peace which hath for so long eluded her. Oh, Moonbreed. We're in the middle of a cutscene right now. <laughs> My dearest. How I shall miss it. Read the heavy part. <laughs> Moonbreeder gave her life that we might possess the means to defeat the Asians. And the experiment worked. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Let us continue her work on the Blade of Ether and see it to completion. My lady, I would mourn Moonbreeder in mine own way. I beg your permission. Sorry, Yanshe, you need the time to grieve. Of course, my friend. Take all the time you require. We shall be here should you have need of us. The idea you had to re return to 14 earlier than your plan worked? It's always good to see people return back. This game is fun. <laughs> I mean, I may be newer to the game, like... Uh... I think I've been playing since, like, maybe December? I know, I know it was, like, around the time, like, right after Fall Guys event ended. So... 
where whenever that was. <laughs> Even though I may not have access to, you know, stuff like Endwalker or whatever, because, you know, free trial player right here. I am looking forward to Dawn Trail because that means I can get the next expansion and also raise level up a bit. Let's go. <laughs> Never have I seen Oriange so utterly defeated. No one should be made to suffer with such grief. They'll gather in Charlian Manor to celebrate Mbrita's life and mourn her passing. Hmm. I have some decent options here. Which uh, which one do you reckon I should should take? Because honestly, I... Yeah, honestly, I couldn't care. <laughs> I can't remember the priority of... Of the, um... You know, what, the, what stats to focus on between these three. Direct hit rate critical and determination. But apart from that... Uh, I suppose I should introduce myself to the new peoples. Hello, I am Arashi. Arashi Spectre, your resin spectral mage. <laughs> yes. I'm a doofus, and I like playing a whole bunch of games, including this one, which I am mildly addicted to. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I haven't played it, um... For a while. Since so like last Final Fantasy 14 stream. Because I've been busy in the back room doing stuff. <laughs> All shall be revealed in April. <laughs> Towards the end of it, I think. Let's see, I have only. One of direct hit rate. I have four of Savage Aim Material 4, and I have six of these, so you know what? I'll take the one I have the least of. There, that solves my problem. <laughs> my decision paralysis. In memory of Moon Brita, Infilia wishes to gather the Scions and honor the fallen Moon Brita. As Minbrita was a native of Charlayan, I feel it is only fitting that we gather before the Mark of the Scholar. Are you familiar with the stone? It's just a monument found at Rathfrost. And is sacred to Theliac, guardian deity of the City of Learning. There we shall pray for our dear friend's soul and bid her a peaceful return to the light of the Mother Crystal. I really hope Eidolon's okay. He does not go very silent like that in times of great need. Well, time to exit to Revenant's Toll. Leave the Rising Stones. And enter Mordona. Wait a second. Don't people call this place Donut or something? I can see the resemblance. More donuts. <laughs> Sheba, stop it. I really wish you, you would just, like, filter out the unnecessary noises and only bark at, like, if someone, like, tries to pull into our driveway or whatever. Would make a world of a difference. A 
Okay, now to find that statue... Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta do Circus Tower. Uh. Alright, Chocobo. Help me get to where I need to go. I guess I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> All the way down here. Lovely. Silver Tear Falls. This place looks wild. Bork bork. <laughs> That's it, it's just a stone with the mark of Thalia carved into it. Oh, I would have thought it'd be like a. Uh... More of like a. Statue? Like of a person. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just opening up a brownie. quicker or wiser but I was not and you paid the price but you would not suffer us to wallow in our sorrow would you you would tell us to pick ourselves up and get on with it <laughs> yes you will and so we shall we shall defend this realm and her people to the last Yeah, I really don't like Midgar so more. Or for place. Stupid name. Hmm. I'm very concerned about the Ishgard interlude.
This as if a dagger has been thrust into my heart. Uh, I'm just gonna say heart, because that's the way I say it. Oh, we got an ad break in a minute. With discipline, we must learn to bear if we are to forge ahead with our duty. The battles we have fought have taken the lives of so many. We saw Mumbrita, our fellows at the Waking Sands. Well, once you guys get back from break, feel free to let me know. And I'll, I'll go ahead and just... Because I'll, I'll go ahead and wait for you guys. Please, let me know when you guys get back. Should only take like maybe like a minute thirty. Yeah, ad break ends in a minute thirty. So once once it once the ad break finishes for the non subscribers, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll resume. <laughs> Don't want to leave them out of fun and action, huh? On another note, how... Uh... What? Where was ever was be everyone been up to lately? Anything cool? Interesting? Maybe even terrible? <laughs> If nothing too much out of the ordinary has happened, that's cool too. It's always, it's always alright to have some average days. Wow, I just put my hand on my shoulder and it feels like ice. <laughs> Alright, I think the ads are over. So, let's shall get on with it. Let us get on with it, shall we? I feel like my English just like... Reset for a second. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I should be- I, I should be- I should be serious slash sad. You're- you're in a dungeon that's cool, Jimmy, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna- I- I don't- I would certainly wouldn't want you trying to type to me and get yourself killed. <laughs> it's- it's all good. <clears throat> Alright. Um, is set- set mode. Set mode. Uh, their spirit and dedication to our cause, however, will not never be lost as long as we rise to fight once more. Yes. I, I hardly need to remind you this of this, of course. It's for my own benefit that I repeat these words. A reaffirmation of mine own chosen path. I do not rebuild the foundation of my resolve. I am like to collapse in a fit of weeping. My apologies again, Noxadrin. There is no other to whom I could display such weakness. <laughs> you are my pillar of strength. And I fear I shall have need of your steadfast presence in the days to come.
Power of Zalt? Final fight is a 3v4. Three bosses versus the par- That sounds nuts! Victory won a comrade loss to honor the fallen, the living forge ever on towards the light of a new day. <laughs> Mask of Grief. Ilya has a request to make of you. Ah, oh, lovely. I'm at my 300 gil- uh, 300k gil lemon. Mm, excuse me. Have you a moment, Noxedrin? I believe Ida wished a word with you. She considered a personal favor if you would lend a sympathetic ear to her troubles. She has not been herself since Moonbrita's passing. And my heart aches to see her so downcast. An Endwalker dungeon is Sir Gamer Lane moment. I don't know what a Gamer Lane moment is, but I'm assuming is. Oh no, please help me. <laughs> I mean, that's the best I can understand it with an outside perspective. I know game returns, but not all of them. <laughs> Hello, Ida. Hey, it's Dexadrin! Great! Oh, uh, it's no use. I'm trying to stay positive, but... <sighs> it's just hard, you know? Thing is, I know Moon would tell me off if she saw me moping around like this. Which is why I decided to cheer myself up by getting her a special flower. I placed an order for a moon daisy with Rowena a little while ago. And it's ready to be picked up. Trouble is, I find Rowena to be a, a bit difficult at the best of times and... Well, this isn't one of them. I know it's silly, but... I just can't face it at the moment. So I was wondering... Do you think you could maybe collect it for me? I have the coin to pay for the flower right here. Yeah, of course. I I I'd be willing and able to help you cope. <laughs> Thank you so much! I'll be waiting for you and the daisy at Wrath Frost. Alrighty. Ever play a video game and you hit a spot where you fix your posture and slightly lean forward? That's the gamer lean? Oh, like... <laughs> oh, that gamer lean. Yeah, it's especially... It especially happens when you get, like, super engrossed or, like, on edge. When, when something is happening or, like, you're trying to get, like, super concentrated. Yeah, it, I, I think I might have done Gamer Lane before. <laughs> I must focus, Lane. <laughs> so anyways, you hit low A9 a monk. Hey, you can now wear the end walker job gear. Let's go. It's epic, my dude. Congratulations. <laughs> what can I, I do for you today, Avenger? Eldritch trinket to train? Uh, not this case. Huh? They've got you running errands now. <laughs> Them scions really know how to make the most of your talents, don't they? Send in the savior of Eorzea to the market. I didn't use your time, that is. Seriously, though. Best learn how to say no. Or they'll have you mucking... Out to the Troco stables next. Uh... 
actually, that that is my limit. I refuse to do that. <laughs> That's gross. And honestly, I don't envy the people that have to take care of that. Anyways. What was it you were here to pick up? The moon daisy, was it? Here, then. Take it. Tell that Ida last that I got a wide selection of headwear in stock if she ever decides to replace that... <laughs> <laughs> the dowdy old mask of hers. <laughs> Wait, how long has she had it for? Like, I know she's had it for, like, basically the entirety of the realm reborn, but, like... Who knows how much longer before I met her she's had that mask. <laughs> Has to be years, my dude. <sighs> I know Ra Rowena said I, I should have just said no, but like her her uh, grief is like understandable in the moment. I I'd say you can make an exception for it. Honestly, I feel like walking, so I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> Especially, like, during, like, kind of heavy stuff. I, I just prefer the silence to the, the happy-go-lucky chocobo music. It's the least we can do for Hida. <laughs> Is that a pun? Well, if it is, it's certainly one I don't get. <laughs> Excuse me. By the way, your face looks stupid, more wool. It's a pun that has layers. I'll get the pun eventually. I'm get I'm guessing it's like further I progress in the game, the more I get. Almost there. There's a bunch of weirdos around me and some sprites. Some sprites. Bunch of lightning sprites. <laughs> Such a stupid song. Oh, crystal tree! Oh, crystal tree! I forget the rest of the words. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> Raina can be so annoying. Mm. <laughs> Everyone with the... Dude, you can't take no for an answer. First, it's said to my face from Rowena. Now, Ida's like, dude, she can't take no for an answer. She insists. Every time I visit her, she insists I replace my visor with something more fashionable. And when I tell her I like it just fine the way it is, she says again, and then again, and then again. It drives me crazy. Uh, uh, what I mean to say is, I really appreciate you doing this for me. So, anyway, let's see it. Ah. <sighs> 
I'm gonna breed all of these things, you know? I hope that somewhere, somehow, she knows I'm still thinking of her. Aww. I'll never forget you, Moon. None of us will. <laughs> the song rises to a crescendo. Thanks for ruining the mood, you st you stinking worm. Ugh. You see, I already, I'm already starting to hate that creature. Okay. <sighs> yeah, let's just ruin the mood further. Is that what I think it is? Yes, Ida, it is. Yes, we can, Alphanald. We have received grave tidings from Ishgard. Pray return to the Rising Stones at once. Huh. And Ishgard was so confident that they'd be able to repel it. Not this time. This time is different. Return set to it steps in old. I must speed towards. Um, y you already know. We already know where we're going. <laughs> I don't think I need to say it. Fuck, Fins. No wonder I can't see you. These are such terrible lenses. <laughs> the things I say. <laughs> it sounded better in my head. <laughs> Alphanon, give us the lowdown. My apologies for the interruption. I was deeply saddened to learn of Moonbreda's passing. Her loss will be sorely felt. Alas, recent developments in Ishgard leave us little time to mourn. The envoy from Kurthus will soon arrive, and we must hasten to hear her report. Oh, you mean the lady that was so confident that would be able to repel the attack? Yeah, sure. If that whole swarm of Dravanians said anything about it, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> I love how I'm just sassing the main story quest line so much. Yes, the envoy is here. I heard the door. Hello! Go ahead and give us the grave news that we all know what it is going to be. I thank you for receiving me at such short notice. Time is of the essence, so I would forego the usual pleasantries, if I may. Certainly. You come with news of the Dravanians? Aye, the dragons have begun their attack in earnest. First wave reached the central highlands a short while ago, and battle was joined soon thereafter. Sir Aram Amaric himself sallied forth with the contingent of temple knights, 
and several companies of the nobles ho noble house's finest, though the beasts were ultimately forced into retreat. Our victory, if, if such it may be called, came at the cost of many of our own. Too many. We will not withstand a second wave should the Dravanians renew their assault. Paint a grim picture, my lady. Those are reinforcements you seek, then. We do. Though it pricks our pride, it is plain we cannot protect Ishgard with our ranks thus thinned by the Horde. Sir Aymeric would meet with you to discuss the possibility of enlisting your aid. Very well, I shall depart for Kurthus at once. Must warn you, however, that the involvement of the Crystal Braves is by no means assured. Our commitment to quelling the unrest of Uldam must take pre precedence. It is with such contingencies in mind that I must make another request. Scions of the Seventh Dawn are known for sharing close ties with the three grand companies of Eorzea. Would you consent to plead our case to their leaders? Hmm. Though I gladly appeal to the grand companies on your behalf, I dare not promise a favorable reply. You need say no more. Considering our past dealings with the Eorzean Alliance, I can well imagine how, how our plea will be received. But the fate of Ishgard hangs in the balance. We must explore every avenue still open to us, no matter how unpromising. I see. Very well. I shall send envoys to each of the Allied Nations and have them present your request directly to the heads of the Grand Companies. In the event that your plea does receive a favorable answer, know that support is certain to be conditional. Demands will be made of Ishgard. That is only to be expected. Rest assured that I speak with Sa Sir, Sir Americk's authority in this matter, and that our actions are fully sanctioned by the Holy See. Which brings me to my final request. A personal appeal to you, Warrior of Light. The Lord Commander much desires to speak with you, regardless of your foe's involvement. Face me, Guard Sorma, and survived. Anything you can share of your experience may yield us an advantage over our foe. I mean, alright. Thank you. You wear the mantle of hero well. It seems the road leads us both to Camp Dragonhead. Seek me out when you arrive, Nothatin. I mean, okay. I think that's the part I run all over the place. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to get to Heaven's Word on this session. I mean, I'm totally okay not reaching it in one stream alone. What is happening at this bridge? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Of course. The sons must answer for their father's misdeeds. Only then will the cycle be broken. What is that? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. It broke the barrier. Wait, there was a barrier? of the heavens we raise our voices and join you in the chorus the sinners feeble magic are undone come claim your retribution <laughs> okay not so Oh, 
Oh, this is just getting lovelier by the minute. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, please give me the Kim Dragon Head ASAP. Oh, care, I'll pay the gill. I'm at like max gill anyways. I gotta spend it on something. <sighs> Hurry up. Uh, it seems like you're the swifter one. Buddy, you probably used the ether right before me. See, the murmurings about camp hell of some manner of trouble at the gates of judgment. In the Lord Commander's absence, I suggest we visit the place and find out what is afoot. What of the, what of the city? Its fences are impenetrable. Uh... Right. That's... Never say that because... There's always somebody who's willing to challenge that and there will... I mean... We, we just saw it, so... I don't think we need to say anything else about it. <laughs> Bothered Bowman. The gates of judgment are much more than mere doors. They are the outermost layer of Ishgard's magical wards. Our first line of fence can be so easily shattered. Yeah, never say something's idiot proof. The universe will spawn a more capable idiot to prove you wrong. <laughs> I love that. But yes, 100% true. There will always be somebody testing the limits of something. One way or another. This peptic dragoon. Heretic scum! How dare they meddle with our divine protections! I shall rid our nation of their blasphemy, even if it means cutting them down one by one. Okay. Rightfully angry. When I laid eyes upon Lady Iceheart, I felt the marrow freeze within my bones. I think you're shaking both out of fear and coldness. I think that's like an accurate observation. <laughs> We need not fret over much. There are yet several layers of arcane protection that shield the city from invasion. <laughs> Mother will be fine. Uh, right. To what seen the heretics struck the first. And most telling blow against Ishgard. Silence! We expected you at Camp Dragonhead. My apologies. We chanced to hear that there had been trouble at the gates and thought it prudent to investigate the cause. Then you would have learned of the heretic's treachery. Lady Iceheart led a force of her followers against our defenders and came close enough to dispel the first of our wards. But let us speak more of this back at the camp. So Amaric waits you. Well then. Lady Iceheart has grown bold indeed if she would risk direct action against the city. Come, let us do as we were bid, and return to Camp Dragonhead. 
I hush fun. Uh, I don't even. I'm not good with all this French stuff. And see, they will know where Sir Americk means to receive us. Oh yeah, ads incoming in roughly thirty seconds, my dudes. I'll be heading to Dr Camp Dragonhead, and we'll wait for you guys after the ad break. No question is, do I feel like getting there? Uh, I'll teleport. The many of these names are much easier than to say once you've heard them. Yeah, I, I've heard Hodge Font, but I, I'm still not used to saying it. <laughs> Hodge Font, my boy. Yeah, he's nice. I, like, he's, like, the only lord of this nation that was, like, very open-minded to us at, at the very start. And willing to give us a chance. What? <laughs> Jimmy, that's concerning! I mean, so far he's been nice. Apparently I'm missing something here. And I'm sure I'm gonna be soon finding out. <laughs> hmm, maybe I should take this Genshin Impact survey for 30,000 more while I'm waiting for ad break to end. <laughs> Paimon thinks it's time for a survey. What year were you born? I'm not telling any y'all. <laughs> yeah, I know you're speaking with a story in mind. <laughs> all I ask is that you don't... ...spoil what's gonna happen. <laughs> like the big stuff and all that. It won't happen soon, but it's also impossible to miss. Stop torturing Sprouts, dude! Okay, Dreadwing. Uh, congratulations on having many mates? <laughs> I don't know, it's not my thing. <laughs> I'll have to finish this survey and then start this. Let's go ahead and start this since ad break should be over. 
This reassuring indeed to behold the countenance of a friend when one's homeland teeters upon the very brink of disaster. Dreaming, why are you saying bury me in flu first? <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's better I don't know. Though a single misstep could have sent us plunging into the abyss. Your heroic presence stokes the flames of courage within my heart. Uh, but you did not come to tr a dragon head to listen to my prattling. The Lord Commander has arrived and would treat with you in the intercessory. Okay, thank you. Oh, I see, dribbling. Animal girls and onies. Same place per usual, back here. Lost for top scored. Greetings, sir. Shall I show you inside? Uh, go ahead. Alright, let's see. Let's hear how bad the news is. Thank you for coming with such haste. And apologize for my absence. Suffice it to say, Lady Iceheart and her heretics have much to answer for. Yes, but we recently returned from the Gates of Judgment ourselves. Given the circumstances, we quite understand if you would prefer to postpone our appointed audience. On the contrary, Master Alphanod, I think it, it more important than ever that this meeting take place. Rest assured, I shall return to my post on Ishgard's walls the moment our business is concluded. Before we move on to the subject of reinforcements, however, I would introduce you to a close friend and stalwart ally, Estinian. I bet, I bet Jimmy's schooling with joy at the mention of that. <laughs> <laughs> See? Called it. SA, my mother boy. <laughs> May I present to you Ishgard's Azor Dragoon. Impressive title. Though I confess I know low I know precious little of the order of dragoons. They are from more formidable warriors all. Yet, even among such masters of the lance, Stinian is without equal. He, out of all the warriors of Ishgard, was chosen to wield the power of dragons, and may thus contend with any Dravanian. You flatter me over much, Lord Commander. I don't know what to give this doodle. <laughs> so you are the venture of whom these spoke. See now why my blood fair sang in... Anticipation of our meeting. Well, now that we have all been introduced, let us proceed to the matter at hand. I would share with you what we have learned of Iceheart's design, as confessed by the heretics taken captive after the assault on the gates. It would seem Lady Iceheart and the Dravanians share a common goal. The reclamation of Nidhogg's stolen eye. Nidhogg, one of the seven great worms. His name features prominently in your nation's history. Though once defeated by the hero Haldrath, the beast is said to have terrorized Curthus since Ishgard's founding. Aye, many are the scars our walls bear from Nidhogg's re relentless efforts to raise the city. Trophy Aldrath plucked from the bested worm skull, known simply as the Eye, is a treasured relic of Ishgard, and one possessed of untold power. 
Should it ever be returned to Nidhogg, the cr dread creature would be restored to the height of his strength. And then no wall or ward we could erect would be stout enough to deny him. My vengeful son hath waged war against Ishgard for a thousand years. No mortal mind could comprehend the depths of his rancor. The eye itself is secreted deep within the vault. It is kept under heavy guard, surrounded at all times by men and women who have proven their loyalty to the Holy See. But though stout walls and sharp blades may suffice to discourage the heretics, dragons are another matter. They are individuals within the Draen Horde whom an entire company of knights would labor to repel, to say nothing of Nidhogg himself. Nor does age rob them of their strength. Through the endless march of years, the dragons endure, patient, calculating, inexorable. You must understand, these creatures do not share our perception of time. That is especially true of the Great Worms. They who spend centuries in slumber only to wake and resume their campaign, as if mere hours had passed. It has been twenty years since Nidhogg less darkened our skies. Twenty years for him to gather his strength. And for us to bolster our defenses. And now, just as he seems primed to return... The Arctic strike at the gates. I believe Lady Iceheart is in league with the creatures, son. Of that, we cannot be certain. Though we know the Arctics covet the eye, we have been unable to determine their plans for it. Such questions aside, we must needs address the ragged hole in their mission. Their mistress has seen fit to rend in Ishgar's protections. Just a weakness that the Dravanians are not like to leave untested. So it would seem. You have described your plight in admirable detail, Lord Commander. Yet cannot help but wonder at your candor. Why share such sensitive information with us? I shall speak plain. Ishgard has need of allies, and I would have you bolster our front lines in readiness with coming battles against the dragons. This is this much I expected. Unlike our arrangement concerning the Keeper of the Lake, however, only you stand to benefit from her assistance this, in this matter. I fail to see why we should intervene in a conflict which on which concerns only Ishgard in Dravania. Okay. When the Eorzean Alliance requ requested Ishgard's assistance during Operation Archon, you refused us. Does it not seem grossly unjust to demand that we now risk our lives in your private war? I make no attempt to defend my country's conduct. I only ask that you consider what would follow were Ishgard to fall. Having raised our city to the ground, the Horde would have little cause to linger, and most would return to the lairs in Dravania. Soon thereafter, the ruins of Kurthus would be buried in snow, and the land would become the sole province of beasts and beastmen. Until the Garlean's arrival, that is, for you may be certain that the Empire would not hesitate to claim Kurthus. <coughs> And it would not even have to draw steel. The, oh. So, when he said uh, my blood sang at our meeting, it changes if you've done the level 50 Dragoon Drop quest? I wonder how it's different. Okay. Imperial province sharing a border with Mordona. 
<laughs> well, very well. We shall assist you in repelling the dragons. The war of the Great Worm may have shaken the firmament, but we of Eorzea will not abandon our Ishgardian brothers to face the coming horde alone. Nor did I ever think you would. Now upon the matter of that roar. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. Through the power of the eye, I have become the vessel of Nidalg's strength. The essence has stolen into my very blood. Okay. Fair not, I'm in control of my faculties, I assure you. And the eye itself is no relevance to this tale. It is not essential that I bear it with me where wheresoever I go. Okay. I see. No longer without equal. Slingering influence does, however, leave. Allow me to hear Nidog's voice. Then the worm who roared. It was Nidog. I. He means to hurl this horde against Danifin's collar. And shatter the remaining wards that protect the city. There can be no doubt. The worm has summoned his minions to war. Ah, lovely. Jimmy, what do you mean by that? Okay, Alpha Nod. Though the circumstances are far from ideal, this desperate endeavor will at least provide us with an opportunity to bring the sister states of Eorzea together in common cause. Sir Emmerich was more ruthless in his negotiations than I had anticipated. I suppose one must give no quarter when one's home is at stake. But you see the look on his face when he formally requested our assistance. Though the Lord Commander has long campaigned for Ishgard to open its gates to the outsiders, I suspect the softening of the Holy, Holy See's attitude towards foreign cooperation comes as something of a bittersweet victory. Days ahead promise to be interesting indeed. Okay. Time to get ready for war, boys! Yep, preparations will be made, and we have to make a report to the entity, the antecedent. Can't we just call her Minthilia? Would it be that hard? <coughs> <coughs> that became me. I wonder if there will be anything like further down the line that like a like a line from some character that changes because I am the black mage. <laughs> I wonder. Like I I know I visited um the guildmaster of the Thaumaturgers guild and talked to them and I noticed I noticed that there was that little bit of dialogue, like, hey, I see you're, you're dipping into some black major, eh? <laughs> Just careful not to, you know, so on and so forth. I know, I know that. That's a thing, because I actually visited Thaumaturgia's Guild out of curiosity. And just to see how they were doing. I wonder if there's, like, any anyone else that will mention things. Now I gotta go to the Morduna. We better make sure the Dravanians don't steal our donuts. That would be mean. Buh, buh, black sheep. <laughs> oh, it's almost finished. 
if someone's over there fighting it. Wait, what's even the name of it? Dunstan. Oh. <laughs> yep, it's done. Turn off your arch light. Arch light. Hmm, I like the winter landscape. Whenever it snows outside and the whole world is just blanketed in it. It just feels like the world becomes surreal just for like maybe a few moments. For a while. It's nice. Especially when it's like silent outside and there's snow everywhere on the trees, the ground. Rocks, even. Mm. <laughs> That's why I like winter. Other than the fact that you maybe you get a chance to make a snowman or snow angel. Final roulette queue, let's go! Final one for Monk for a while? Nice! Best of luck, Jimmy! Go kick some butt. Uh. Uh. Bless me. <laughs> I was able to mute in time for that. I just can't wait to finally be able to use uh, uh, all these spells that I'm looking forward to. Can't wait to play with sharp cast in ley lines. You <laughs> only need uh, 3.7 mil? Dude, that's epic. Yeah, one, one big, one big uh, duty should be able to put you over. Alfino, it is good to see you. Tell me, what have you learned? Pray summon the others. Everyone must hear my report. Yeah, it's quite bad. And that's an understatement. Well, this was all but a taste of what's to come. Yup. Indeed. The main host advances upon Ishgard as we speak. Whose vaunted defenses have been nullified. Shorn of its wards, the city will bear the full force of Nidhogg's fury. Is that where most people live? Alfino is right. The Dravanians cannot be allowed to prevail. If Ishgard falls, all of Eorzea will suffer the consequences. You're very passionate about it. Can't say I blame you. Agree that we have no choice but to intervene. For the good of the realm, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and the Crystal Braves must join the defense of Ishgard. But what of the Green Companies? There's no ambiguity about what has been proposed. We would be directly intervening in the war. Yeah, that is true. But if all here believe the cause to be just, then to war we shall go. I certainly wouldn't want Dravanians on my doorstep. The path we now embark Bad enough we got Garleans. But I pray you will walk with us to the end. Yeah, of course. For 
For those we have lost. For those we can yet save. Palace of Jaffe? Wait a second, no wonder he st sounds familiar. Wait, Alpha Nod was voiced by Sam Regal? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I'm a fan of those people. I love those voice actors. They're such fun people. <laughs> oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I... Dude, that was like so many years ago that th this stuff was recorded. I know, look at them now. Oh boy, if they, if they, um... We recorded any of this stuff, it would sound like... By miles, like, it would sound like night and day. Hey, can anyone guess who my favorite scion is? Inform the council of our intentions and request that they contribute their own forces to the defense of Ishgard. <laughs> A realm born Thancred? Not specifically a realm born Thancred. In fact, sometimes I, I, I okay. Maybe I went into like I was like okay, just like okay about them. <laughs> They're weird, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think he's pretty cool. Oh. A realm of born thanker was voiced by Talos and Jeffy. <laughs> I misunderstood. Well, there goes the surprise. Now I know who my favorite Scion is. <laughs> Yeah, a realm reborn Thancred. It does sound like Talos and Jaffe. I never made the connection. I should have known because I am a little bit familiar with with uh, Talison's voice acting. I've bid the Archons travel to their assigned nations. Should the members of the Alliance agree to pledge Grand Company soldiers to Ishgard's cause, our comrades will be on hand to act as intermediary. In intermediaries for the duration of the conflict. The small matter of persuading the Alliance leaders to grant such support, I leave to Alphamond. See, for you, my friend, a different task awaits. But have you reach out to your fellow adventurers and gather what allies you may for the coming siege. I would also have you consider the matter of our own security. Revenant's toll is but a short flight from the snowfields of Kurthus. It is not unimaginable that the fighting may spill across the border. Pray brief Slothorn on the brewing conflict and discuss potential contingencies. Frontier settlers must be prepared for odds that might wing its way over our walls. I only hope that such precautions prove unnecessary. Uh, before you leave, might I suggest that you have Tataru accompany you? She has a talent for administration and a firm grasp of the practical challenges we may encounter. He is a pretty good administrator. Sorry, kid. Nothing personal. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, no. Bless me. <laughs> Hello, Tataru. We are rather close to Kurthus, aren't we? We best see to our own defenses and take stock of our supplies. Oh, 
And we'll also need to have beds and bandages laid out just in case. Your receptionist is ready for any eventuality. Let's go, Nox Adrian. I've got a hundred and one things to discuss with Slapborn. Well, we got an ad break in 45 seconds. Actually, with the ad break, I might as well use the restroom. Appreciate the warning. Wards coming to curve us, then a toll must be made ready. I'll increase the number of patrols and lookouts immediately. I'll also see about finding room for an infirmary as well as temporary housing for victims of the conflict. This guard has done well by us in the past, and I would return the favor. Oh, I ah, just started, so I'm just gonna plop here. And I am gonna get us to the be right back screen, and then gonna use Laura Stillman. and I guess stretch my legs a little bit. I should also get myself something to eat. It's lunchtime. I don't have too much for breakfast either. <laughs>
I has returned. And I see you have finally hit level 90, Monk. Congratulations, G uh, Jimmy. <laughs> I got to myself some vanilla big yogurt apple. Okay. To the end game. As for rounding up volunteers for the fighting itself, I'm afraid I must di disappoint you. I will not send my fellow guild members to die on Ishgardian soil. I am certain hecklers will st say the same. There will be no official adventurer's guild presence at this siege. That said, each adventurer is, of course, free to do as he or she will. They'll have a word with some of my more capable colleagues on your behalf. And you might try your luck there, here in Revenant's Toll. I dare say there are a few stout souls about town who will answer your call to arms. Okay. Get started, shall we? We have a town to rouse. Alright, Tataru. I think she's my other favorite. Scion. <laughs> I like her. You look interesting. Spare me of your talk of glory and fame. I'm not in the habit of volunteering for lost causes. I survived this long by trusting my instincts. And my instincts tell me to stay well away from Ishgard. Okay. Ish. Hey, dude. I know something's been troubling him in the background. This girl sounds like she's in the right mess. But it ain't what I wanted to talk you, to you about. I need you, you to cast your mind back to that scuffle with the Empire out by the processing plant. Lab from little Almigo by the name of old Wilfred. I was there with the fourth that day, and I want to know if you've seen him since. Have you? Wilfred. Oh! Oh, that guy? The reckless guy? He's just gone? Around the time Wilfred stopped turning up for duty, then black market weapons went missing from a vault in the La. Now, of course, half the Braves suspect the lad making off of the goods. Folk like to believe our company's a disciplined fighting force, but as you and me both know, no more motley collection of mercenaries, adventurers, and green company veterans. The only thing that has binds us together is some vague oath about fighting for freedom of all. That and steady pay. Of course, it's a, it's a wolf among the wolves. Boy's got passion. When he talked about being a guardian of yours, he, he well meant it. A lad like him wouldn't rob us blind and, and just, you know, ditch. <laughs> he ain't the type. Yeah, something's up. Wait, so he wanted to tell you about something off in the ledgers, but numbers not adding up, okay. Hey, there's a villain at the end of this trail I've stumbled upon. Now, bet me good eye it ain't young Wilred. Hey, Wilred, got a water wage, so I'll let you get on. Just thought someone should know. I'll be seeing you next, Ajin. Lovely. 
Of course, there's a mole. Red spies in the base. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a throwback. Reynolds House of Splendors. Angular Adventure. Angular. Why angular? Because they're a lantern or dragoon? Volunteer my services in defense of Ishgard? I think not. Dragons claim the lives of every one of my brothers. I do not m mean to offer them mine. It was to escape such a fate that I took up the mantle of adventure in the first place. But sooner die in the pursuit of fortune than huddle behind an icy wall. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Everyone's a bunch of chickens. So went all the way up here. <laughs> a stab venture. Okay, hello. Tell me, Blade, to the Ears Guardians. Well, them dragons are fearsome, but I'd slay me fair share if coin is good. I've worked for one of them nights before, you know. Watch me like a hawk. You did? Still, I'd put up with worse than that for a heavy purse. Okay. So he can't be convinced. At the very least, it's not an outright no. It's conditional. Better than the past two responses we've been getting, so take what you can get. <laughs> Venturous Frontier Hand. Hmm, it looks like a conjurer. No, oh, Ishkart seeks cell swords to bolster its ranks, huh? Though I'm not sure I like the sound of the siege, those nobles will surely be generous with their rewards. Ah, but I have pledged myself to guard Reverend's toll. Modest work through it is. I am loath to break the terms of my contract. What to do, what to do. So they're potentially interested in the rewards, but at the same time they do have their contract to contend with. So, depending on it, how that gets sorted out, they either will or will not be joining. But overall, the responses weren't all that great. Got ads starting in 48 seconds. Um, I sort of swayed at least one. One or two, eh? Well, added to mine, that makes three or four. Not including Slathorn's friends, who have to, the largest company in the army. But say one Revenant's toll veteran is worth a dozen clanking knights at least. We'll just wait for the ads to hit and then roll over.
Love and Quest left and then Moon Trial till, left till Heavensward. It's not bad. Welcome back, those who have been prisoners of the ads. Yeah, depending on how much I want to push, I could be in Heavensward by the end of the session. Oh no, I'm not feeling super energetic today. But at the same time, when I play this game, usually I can push for a good amount of time. <laughs> because I'm... <laughs> Maybe mildly addicted to it. I mean, can you blame me? It's really good. <laughs> My first MMO and I'm hooked. What I like to do, though, when it comes to main story questline stuff, is do a chunk of the quest, take a break, and do whatever I want. And then go back to it eventually. It, it's just to make sure that I don't drive myself crazy or, you know, get, go soulless from the set amount of main story quest lines. I gotta do. Excuse me. Let's go to take breaks too. How about that, you know? There might be other things you want to do, aside from the main story questline. And what's my ADHD? <laughs> yeah, I gotta shake things up periodically for myself, or I'm just gonna... ...slowly lose my brain. <laughs> and it'll become harder and harder to focus. I gotta constantly engage myself. <clears throat> What's Totaro have to say? Oh, I've been so caught up with recurring that I almost forgot. There's been word from Alphanond. Apparently, the Alliance leaders are convening in Old Ah to discuss Ishgard's plight. And they've requested your presence. As usual. Anyway, you best make your way to Old Ah, or you'll be late. Alphanond said that he would meet you on the Royal Promenade. You want to you see me get into Heavens very soon? I want my spells. <laughs> I mean, I want to unlock some cool stuff, so. I, yeah, I mean, I share that excitement. <laughs> Must be fun watching a sprout go through all this stuff and experiencing it for the first time. And I'll be honest, I, I kind of feel the same. Like, you know, Coefficient has been um, playing Final Fantasy XIV for... Uh, the entire month so far. Yeah, yeah especially with Moonbreed's <coughs> thing being in the same session. You're looking at me funny. Eat fireball! <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I got some lightning crystals. Let's go. <laughs> That's the whole point of doing it. Also, for some reason, I just I just like wrecking sprites. Because they drop the good stuff. Good stuff for crafting. Always. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I really like standing on this crystal. <laughs> I like the way it juts out. It's a nice vantage point if you think about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right, I've got return. I always have it set to old all steps and old because nine times out of ten I'm going back there anyways. Just theme starts. <laughs> Ah, uh. oh, the steps of Nold. I'm kind of 
kind of curious what um, what crafter's stuff uh, needs to be turned in for today. Oh, that dress looks pretty. That outfit looks nice. Some of this stuff on this game looks really cool. Do I need this thing, or...? Eh. I'm not super invested in Arcanist. You can have it. It'll give me extra for my alchemist. Level 14. Windrock, Galago, Mint, Bull's Bite. I don't think I've acquired too much... stuff I want to fork over. And there's a lot of stuff that my other classes will need to keep because they need- because they'll be growing into it eventually. Like my gladiator will be getting this at 38. Or in 44 as well. This will be for my archer when it hits level 30. Uh, this specifically. Oh, I'm thinking keeping this for my conjurer. Yeah. I know Pixels told me that I should hold off on on like saying like which stuff I prefer more until I hit level 50 and like you know the respective roles like tank and healer. But like I'd say like preliminary uh opinion at least so far like within like levels like 1 to like 30 ish, I'd say. I think I'm a little more comfortable in tank than I am healer. Because this healer is stressing me out. And I'm a little bit anxiety prone, so... Making sure that people aren't dying is... I mean, it's great to feel useful, but at the same time, it's... It's a job that's not faint for the heart. Or the heart... Or the faint of heart. Yay, we got level ups. And now to shove them somewhere else. Oh yeah, I gotta work on the others as well. Just to make sure... Um, hmm. How much does all this add up? Not enough physical ability. I need to make sure Sophine gets a level, though. Oh, it's Gertz Patrol. Mm. 
I think we could pair Nanasomi with Sophine. Yeah, let's go ahead with that. Got that thing taken care of for today. Oh, hey, there you are. <laughs> Hello. I gotta go to the husting strip. Chamber of Rule. <laughs> now, I've mentioned this on Twitter before. It's a little thing on my mind. I'm surprised. <laughs> you love fascinating times, huh? I'm a little surprised that, like, uh, the... Final Fantasy XIV video of me raiding Crystal Tower actually did surprisingly good. I did not expect it. And, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting much from it, so now I have no idea what kind of video I want to make next. Ugh, time to convince these leaders. Well aware of Ishgard's dilemma, and we agree with your assessment. Okay. Then I trust there are no objections to the Crystal Brave's intervention. Uldar has none. Gridonia does not object. The Crystal Braves are yours to command, Alfino. Do what you will. We shall Oh, sorry I cut you short. <laughs> It was my hope that you would offer more substantial aid than prayer. I know it is within your means. Do not presume that you have knowledge of our every concern. The Garlians and the Beast Tribes are but two of many. What else is plaguing you? We are not in a position to contribute greatly to the defense of Ishgard. Not when our own homes are still under siege. Ah, oh, lovely. Politics. I really hate politics. We dare not leave our interest in Cartano undefended as well. Telegi Adelegi and his ilk would seize control of the territories in our absence. Ah, uh, yeah, that does cause issues. The enemy is at their gates, and you would cower behind yours? No one is cowering, boy. We will offer what support we can. <laughs> Alphanada was such a snot-nosed brat back in the realm reborn. Uh, you don't miss it one bit, huh? Good to know he gets better later on, though. Would that we could commit more than a token force to this cause. Yet there are others to whom you might turn. The free companies ever want for work. Yes, the free companies. They're not like to turn you down. Oh, you mean the unhinged people? Sure, let's go ahead and invite them into our ranks. I'll just make things great. You would entrust the survival of Ishgard to sell swords? Alphanod, we don't have options, many options here. My dude! <laughs> like 
the very reason why this alliance was formed. It is our duty to aid our fellow man. Ugh. My duty is to my country and my people. If you expect us to place the welfare of a foreign power above our own, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Lest you doubt, Limsa comes first, then the Alliance, and finally, circumstances permitting, Ishgard and the rest. <laughs> Hope he gets knocked down a peg or two soon, huh? If you cannot understand so simple a concept, then you have no place at this table. Forgive me, Admiral. I was careless in my choice of words. I can tell Afnot's definitely stressed. You have elite adventurers, assuming you haven't already. Your fellows served us well during Operation Archon. I dare say they will do so again. Well, better than nothing. If I may, Your Grace, I wish to propose a redistribution of forces. Redistribution, you say? Security of Uldar to the Brass Blades for a time. We can dispatch a larger force to Ishgard. Your Grace? Oh boy. Yes. Yes, of course. Do what you will. He looks a bit concerned. Oh no, I feel something is... Uh, something's not good is gonna happen. And it's gonna involve these two. I wouldn't be surprised if it involves Teleji. The best of my knowledge, her grace is in perfect health. His arm is just in pins and needles. Lovely. Is that on it wrong? Hmm. <laughs> I feel bad for this guy. I can tell he's very passionate about his country and wants the best for it. Once again, I owe you an apology. Seems you have been conscripted into leading a contingent of adventures on yet another mission of inestimable danger. But I fear we have been left with little alternative. We cannot well abandon Lord Hoshfont and Sir Amaric to their fate. We must abide by the Council's decision, short-sighted as it is, and strive to fulfill our role as, as Eorzea's guardians. Oh, oh, Fnod, you gotta put yourself in their shoes. Like, if they're not able to take care of themselves, they are not able to take care of others. It's like asking an unconscious person on their, on their, on their bed to help somebody, I, I don't know, who fell down the stairs? <laughs> Captain Ilbert, what news? Oh, the assault has begun! Lovely! Second wave! Move our forces into position. Your unit will join House Durandar at the Steel Vigil. Jimmy. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you're right. Alphanod has like two left feet or something. <laughs> he forgot the right shoe. Lovely. Dravanians are in full force. All I say is supremacy. I don't know. 
Both of them can be really annoying. <laughs> Oh, time to rush to the front lines. Go us. Such happy music. <laughs> this way. You know what? To, just to mess with you, I'm going to walk the entire way. Leg day every day, boy! <laughs> ah, lovely. Giant borb. <laughs> I see you back there. <laughs> huh. Oh, hey. <laughs> He's immediately regretting his decision. Uh. About other ventures here. Seems like we managed to get some. Better than nothing, I'd say. You're the appointed captain of the Sellsword contingent. Then welcome. There's no shortage of blade work to be done. As we speak, Dravanian skirmishing parties are harrying positions across the central highlands. I'm assigning the crystal braze in your fellow adventurers to contain these scattered attacks, and for the present, I would have you join them. This is, of course, merely a precursor to the assault on Ishgar proper. The wily serpents seek to divide and confuse our forces, but we will not be so easily drawn out of position. The Temple Knights will remain on the steps of faith and continue our preparations. When the Horde arrives in force, they shall face a wall of Ishgardian steel. Report back to me once their advanced skirmishers are slain. To uh, uh, right white brim, yeah, there. <laughs> Oh, lovely. This looks oh so promising. I'm gonna mana wall early. No, thank you. Uh. 
And get them both. And get them both. Thank you, Thundercloud. <laughs> Got me kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hold up. I kind of messed up my spell cast. I mean, you know what? It was the last hit, so it kind of doesn't matter. Province point. So, all the way up there. You good? Oh no, we lost one. We lost a crystal brave. Roll 20, please shut up and stop sending me these things. Oh, got an ad break in a minute, my dudes. I'll just go ahead and get myself here and then we can... ...wait on the people. Is that that the guy we saw in Revenant's Toll? Oh. <laughs> Attack! Not on those things yet. Is the ad starting or Okay, now it's starting. <laughs> I'll use this as a time to eat the rest of my Greek yogurt. Maybe no I'm on the apple. I'm just gonna keep doing this to refresh my buff. And not lose it. Circle. I like these. <laughs> I do wonder, does it work for anyone who's in the circle? It doesn't say it specifically affects you. Oh, I think the ads are over. Oh, 
I I missed out on buff. Whoops. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Come on, you lackluster things. Horde Commander. What is this, wow? <laughs> I'm likely to have gotten hit, yes. Power of Heavens were po poetics gear. I, I was gonna say, why, why is it not letting me? Alright, that's all at Providence Point. Now we just gotta go back to the... people. I'd say at least for the time being, I'm in like the best of Realm Reborn... ...gear I can possibly get, which is the iron work, uh, Garland Ironworks stuff. Augmented Ironworks stuff. Oh. I didn't realize I needed to... Oh. Okay, then I'll just dismount. I'm gonna do this real quick. I've been dying Materia 4 from Ring of Divine Death. It's not often that... Oh, sure. I don't mind. Uh, there we go. What news adventure? The reinforcements? Decimated, you say? <laughs> Slovenian jerks! And their their scaly hides out there, they hold fast your grief and fury, sir. We will avenge the deaths of your fellows in the battle to come. <laughs> oh, I'm a fan of these. Ere you commit yourself to the siege, you should know what it is you are tasked with defending. Beyond the gates of judgment lie the steps of faith, a great bridge of stone that leads directly to the city of Ishgard. More than simply a means to cross the Sea of Clouds, the bridge serves as a foundation for arcane wards that form the barrier we call Danifin's Collar. Alas, in dispelling the barrier's outermost layer, and which ice heart stripped the bridge of its protection. And thus there are the dragons now able to land unhindered upon the steps of faith. Should the Dravanians succeed in destroying the remainder of the wards, the winged devils will be 
free to swarm within the city itself. Needless to say, we cannot suffer that to happen. It shall be our task as defenders to prevent any harm from coming to those parts of the bridge. Wherein the wards are sealed. Wherein. Hmm. Three yet remain, and we have dispatched our forces accordingly. I would ask you and your comrades to accompany our defenders at the outermost ward. I should hope that includes us as well, yes? Hoo hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. Ah, the scions. The scions of the seventh dawn? Yes. We cannot well stand idly by while the horde threatens the good of pe good people of Ishgard. Indeed, two otherwise would go against all that Master Louis Soi has taught us. As for where we may be of most assistance, I think it prudent we divide into two groups. Ida and I will join the rear guard. Right, if the dragons should reach us, we'll be sure to give them what what for. Thank you, all of you. Pray speak with me again when your preparations are complete. And together we shall stand against the horde. Trust you are ready then. Good. Come, let us make for the battlefield. Level 50, item level 110. I meet the requirements. <laughs> what? There's no disciple of the hand or land. I I'm not as it. What? <laughs> okay, if you want to tell me that I can't be partied up with somebody, then this should not be the text. <laughs> Unable to commence duty as a disciple of the land or hand or while in a party. Okay, fine. I misread it. Bah! It's a solo duty. It's okay, you can... You can watch me. And help me from the sidelines. I gotta leave the party, though. Unfortunately. Yes, let us proceed. Okay, you are very huge. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I got to fight this thing right off the bat. Is that Nidhogg? Oh no. <laughs> nope. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. So Nidhogg's even more huge than that? Claim this victory! Claim victory this day or Ishgard falls! Accept the fury into your heart and defend this bridge with your life's blood! Protect the Holy Sea of Ishgard. Okay. Oh, nah. Even more huge than that. Oh, come on! Ow. You know, I was about to mana war, but... What? When did the dragons get back here? Dude, you have like no time to get out of that get out of that AoE. 
Oak, I accidentally hit mana ward, or er, mana font. Ow. Bishop. Oh, lovely. Well, I, I kind of can't. I'm running as fast as I can. <laughs> Ether, to me. Nope. I'd rather not die, thank you. I may hate to move, but I also really value my life. Wait a second, this is the rear guard, because Ida's here. Actually, I should not use Flare yet until I'm like towards the end of using it.
Sheesh, how tanky is this thing? It's almost 50. I need a man award. I got hit twice. <laughs> hey, the dragoons are here. Can I please get my blizzard in so I can recall mana? Thank you. Oh! Mm -hmm. No. No. Venn diagram equals bad, yes. Especially if you're standing in the middle of said uh, Venn diagram. Poor guy. I don't think I can weaken- uh, I can end this now. I wish I could. you slide casting I did not mano word in time.
I'm trying my best. You knights need to keep your yourselves together. Finally. Hi, <laughs> <Ay>, tomato. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dragons, they are withdrawing! Victory is ours! For now. Now it's nothing but... The asses. Minor quest to heaven's word. One of Nidhogg's greatest champions, slain. The Horde will not soon recover from this blow. Yes. But what have you, Nidhogg? Why did you not join your minions and make of this battle a slaughter? You make around so fond of the stench of your lair. Mayhap you prefer to have allies fight your battles for you. You have a girl to do your bidding now, do you not? No matter. I shall slay Iceheart and all the rest. But I yearn to spill the blood of the great worm, the dog. And only your death will sate my lance. Oh, cutscenes. Got you. Sadrin, the dragons are routed. Lest you wonder, the fighting at the steel vigil was also fierce, but my crystal braids were not found wanting. Yay. <laughs> Commander Lavor, uh, are you? Level Lor, oh. I butchered that so bad. <laughs> Noxadrin, true to your word, you arrived to aid us in our honor of need. On behalf of the Holy See and the people of Ishgard, I offer you my humble thanks. Though I would stay and lavish you with well-deserved praise, there I must await to oversee the aftermath of the siege. Not all the dragons are fled, and there are yet wounded to be carried from the field. Pray, let us meet anon, that I might express my thanks with proper courtesy. We have indeed achieved a victory of singular importance. The Trevanian Horde thus weakened and scattered, the threat to Ishgard has been greatly diminished. And, mayhap equally significant, the Holy See must now recognize the necessity of cooperation with foreign powers. Holy See? Sabaton. Much have we sacrificed in our struggles against dragons and primals, the Asians and the Empire as well. But, step by unfaltering step, we march ever nearer to our goal. 
And as ever, the journey is made with you in the in the van. Apparently, they have vans. Sabaton the last stay in the song, not the album. Uh. The demands of G, however, allow for allow me little time for levity. Must accompany the Captain Ilbert back to Ulda and reassign Braves whose squad suffered heavy losses. She probably barking over. The rest that Revenant's told, and then I share with Minfilia, and we've got ads in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Maybe I should make an emote of just. I don't know, a Bork emote. And have it, like, of Sheba just, like, barking excessively. I feel mildly sleepy. Alright, I'm more Donna. Bad break. And you know what? I'm gonna slouch in my chair because I feel like it. <laughs> Final Fantasy 24. I know it's a typo, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> you made a typo. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Not 24, not yet. Dude, I think we'd all be incredibly old by the time that happens. I think the ads are over now. Oh, we shall go ahead and get through this wall of text. Now, do I want to get more quick tongue materia for, or do I want to get quick arm materia for? Because I only have one of quick arm. I already have two of these. Mind you, I really enjoy spell speed a lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> spell speed for casters. Yeah, I know, it's supposed to be for casters. I'm also... Leveling Ninja, mind you. At 41. I do also have a Samurai. Oh, 
Oh, lovely. More stuff. <sighs> you must be wary, Noxadrin. Now may very well be your only la only chance to... Yeah, right. When can I ever rest? What is it, Tatara? What is it this time? <sighs> Hi, Tataru. A messenger from Ulda, right, with a missive for you. A seal. Curious indeed. Ah, an invitation. On behalf of the Council of the Eorzean Alliance, Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ul Nanamo invites the Scions of the Summit Dawn to attend a feast at the Royal Palace of Ulda in honor of Ishgard's recent victory. It would seem we are to be recognized for our part in lifting the siege. You, for your valiant efforts as commander of the Avengers Contingent, and the Archons for their earnest attempts to rouse the city-states. Truly, I find it strange that the Alliance leaders should think themselves deserving of a place at such a celebration. All three refused to deploy their standing armies. Preferring to send hastily assembled companies of sellswords, many of whom perished ere the siege began. Are they truly so brazen as to seek to share in the glory of our triumph? Or your triumph? Ah, but mayhap they simply seek to, a pretext to meet with the Ishgardians while the mood is yet jubilant. Such an occasion would present a fine opportunity to press for Ishgard's return to the Eorzean Alliance. <sighs> we have scarce had time for, to mourn for Mumbrita, and I, for one, am in no mood to carouse. I suppose we must put away our grief for the good of the realm. Though you were promised rest, I fear I must insist that you also intend attend. It would be strange celebration if, indeed if Victor a victorious hero were not present. <laughs> Pray content yourself with the thought that such occasions may bring about a momentous change, and this without recourse to bloodshed. Tataru, if you would do me a favor in, of contacting the rest of the Scions. Of course, Antecedent. And please let me know if there's anything else I can do. <sighs> Never known her to sigh at such requests. Uh, something must be amiss if she's all sighing and no smiles. I heard a bunch of digging out there, outside my room. Tara is conspicuous by her absence. Taru, I believe she just stepped outside. Now that I think on it, she did seem rather preoccupied. I really need to know what's on her mind. Administrative decision. Ah, she's up there. A 
Oh, Noxadrin, it's you. I didn't mean to worry anyone. It's nothing, really. Well, it's not nothing exactly, but it feels like nothing compared to the towering trials you and others face every day. And that's why I should probably talk to Minfilia before things get any worse. Uh, you always know what to say, Noctagen. I'm glad we had this little chat. I didn't really say much, but you know what? Go you. <laughs> Thank you. What is going on? Okay, fess up. What is going on? I think I'm good now? Okay. <sighs> Doggo sent it genuinely angry. Uh... Yeah, uh, she's just like, working with my sister because she's being very disruptive. I don't know, she seemed- she sounded really ticked off. Anyways, let's get, go ahead and get back into this text. Ugh. I've been hesitant to broach the subject. What with all the recent excitement. But not Nox Adrian made me realize that there's no time like the present. And time is what I'm here to ask you for. I'm not sure I understand. You wish to be excused from your duties for a time, then you have certainly earned the rest. But I suspect that lying abed is far from your intent. <laughs> you know me too well, antecedent. There is, in fact, some time I've something I've been wanting to try my hand at. Along with the adventures and the Crystal Braves, the Scions are constantly being thrown into dangerous battles and deadly predicaments. Even the Hori Boulder and Colton that have been promoted from guard duty to fill our need for competent warriors. And so it seems that only right that I, too, shall acquire the power to defend myself and others, more importantly. When I return, I shall be both your receptionist and your bodyguard. Oof. Aw, oh, that is such a wonderful prospect, Ataru. <laughs> I like the look. Whoa, hey! <laughs> That's the first time I was <laughs> not grabbed by a lol fell. <laughs> I think you're just growing soft, dude. I've never seen Mr. Dara so determined. Does that befall with which I might help antecedent? Uh, not at the present, thank you. Was there something you would ask of me? Yeah, she's gonna be trying to become a fighter. I wonder what would suit Tataro. She doesn't really strike me as like a melee fighter. I feel like she might be like more of like a ranged type of person or maybe even a healer. When I say ranged, it could be like physical ranged or magical ranged. 
Oh yes, pray excuse my distraction. An adventurer who was to join us for escort day was injured while out on a patrol. Not fair we cannot properly defend the scholars entrusted to our protection without the aid of at least one more guard. Therefore, I humbly request that another adventurer, the capable kind, of course, be assigned to our party. Very well. Oh, stuff's getting crazy again. I'm gonna have to mute. I called it! My sister's upset at someone. Egg! Look at all the eggs. Yeah, I don't really like Arcanist all that much, but yeah, maybe I'll level it for Tartar's sake. Oh, yeah, are there any lines that change in this part? Because, like, if you, like, have your Arcanist leveled. I am curious. Well, I'm here. Uh, um. You do not know? That's all right. I was just curious. The tower is supposed to be here. Down? Oh, hey, Niv. down oh wait i think it's in here oh i forgot about that <laughs> 
Yeah, you can tell I'm not here much at all. I've only been here like a couple of, like a handful of times. <laughs> you have guests over? That's all right. Love you too, Noof. Take care. Here's the Taru. Do we get to see her summon a carbuncle? Do we get to? Do we get to? What's Hadron? What are you doing here? I didn't mean for her to worry. The last thing I wanted. Bring an end to such worries is precisely the reason I'm here, don't you see? I, it's Taru Taru. Shall become a great and powerful arcanist. <laughs> Aww. And now, at Mr. Thubeard Gimes he has to- Ooh, that name's- Bit of a doozy. <laughs> I must go and complete a special training exercise. So we meet again. How much do you want to bet the box? I still remember that. I can't wait to see Tatara become epic. <laughs> yes? How many assists do you, Noxadrin? So you're acquainted with our newest member. <laughs> May have you already noticed, but I fear young Tataru's potential is somewhat lacking. Nevertheless, she would not be denied, and goes now to undertake her first trial. Simulated inspection of three crates. Simple task, some might say, but one all the arcanists are expected to complete. A thought occurs to me. Why not assist Tataru with her training? Given your relationship with the girl and your growing understanding of Arcanima, you may prove a great help to her. The trial will be conducted at the cliff south of the Zephyr Gate. You need only observe at a distance. Wait, I think it's... Well, this, this part of the line... I think is referring to the fact that I started on Ar Arcana stuff. My growing understanding of Arcanima. Which is true. I mean, it's level 10, but still. <laughs> Do I have anything better? Fieldcraft supplies, die monger, battlecraft supplier. You know, realizing my arcanist is level 10 is making me realize I sort of regret handing in that leather grimoire, that engraved one that I made because high quality stuff is just better better in general <laughs> but you know what I, I shouldn't be complaining about getting more alchemist levels I don't know it's like a trade-off I suppose <laughs> I'll have to make another one What is it? No, I need my crafting log. Uh, engraved leather grimoire. 
car. Leather Ashlog and a leather grimoire. Oh, I can just buy a leather grimoire and an ash log. I know this is a little bit getting off track, but I want to do it before I forget again. Jeweler, Tricraft, Independent, further down. <laughs> Clever Glimmer is like level five. Yeah, I don't not being able to equip it. I just need it for materials. Just a bunch of bait. Apothecary. Maple longer, maple lob, 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 log. <laughs> I think I have to seek out Ash Log. I don't feel like trying to open up those windows again, so I'm just gonna leave them at the bottom. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that's literally all I needed. <laughs> oh, we got an ad break in a minute. Alright, folks, you won't be missing out much because I'm just going to be crafting a engraved leather grimoire. <laughs> Bless me. Okay. I'm uh, trying my best to make it high quality. There we go. Actually, I should put, I should get our canist. Yeah, I think that brings over. Alright. Got what I needed for my Arcanist. As much as I don't like Arcanist, I won't be completely neglectful. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Limza Luminza Lower Decks. Arr. Oh, hang. Let me buy you start streaming. Epic. You know what? I sh hey, Jimmy, I should introduce you to a good, really good friend of mine. She's she's really cool. And British. <laughs> I think you might like her vibe. But that's like a... I think, I think like, once we, when we raid out, that is... Oh no, what do you mean, oh no? Don't worry, she's not an unhinged Final Fantasy player like me. I'm not an unhinged, really, though. <laughs> I'm probably, like, the least unhinged 
person in this game. Save for like maybe a few people. I wonder if Tatari will get this. I really hope Tataru passes. Seriously, she's singing? Tataru, come on, man! At least unhinged, you'd say. Give it time? No. Buddy, you have no idea how many times my friends have told me in the past that I will eventually get so corrupted to the point it will show. And guess what? Look at me now, jerk faces! Ha! The only thing... Uh, the only unhinged part of me is the fact that I'm a VTuber. <laughs> Are you serious? You gotta be kidding. Tataru, be observant, man! Oh boy. I really hope she doesn't. Um... Oh, you've got to be kidding! <laughs> the card buckle ran off. Where is the card buckle going? Oh boy. Ugh. Where did the carbuncle even go? Maybe that's what the guild master meant by lacking in talent. The fact that carbuncle just decides to run off and stuff, listen. Just wait and make sure you're okay. Tataru, he can't just give up like that. Ah, oh, come on. Failure hurt her that bad, huh? You know, not everybody has an inherent talent for something. Everything you do will require at least some effort on your part. Maybe you're not so naturally apt towards, I don't know, maybe writing. You're not gonna get better Unless you try to push through and learn from your mistakes. Think- think of- Think of starting something new as like a future investment. If you give up from one failure that you've suffered, then you're not gonna be able to get anywhere in life. Being allergic to failure is worse than failure itself because failure is actually quite good. You learn so much from it. And it makes you stronger all the more in the long run. It may not be something you realize in the moment, especially when you're tasting that sting and crushing defeat sting of and crushingness of, <laughs> of defeat. But you'll get there. 
Yeah, you got it. You just gotta give it time. Ah, back so soon. How fared our fledgling arcanist? Well. Itaru, if that were true, I would not have permitted you to join in the first place. We must all come to accept our limitations, lest our ambitions lead us astray. However, we must not lose sight of our strengths in the process. For example, your exceptional skill with numbers helped you, gain, helped you to gain a solid grasp of the fundamentals of Arcanima. Were it not so, you would have struggled to even struggled even to summon Carbuncle to your side. In my opinion, the Scions are truly fortunate to have such a capable and good-natured receptionist in their service. Would you not agree? She's amazing. Are you kidding me? She's like the best receptionist ever. You're too kind, Mistress. Thu, 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 I, I, I'm. What's the point of me even trying to pronounce this woman's name? <laughs> Though I cannot overcome this challenge, I shall take your words to heart and try not to be discouraged. Just gotta train with your carbuncle a little more. Develop a bond. Sometimes it just takes a little effort. A little elbow grease. Mistress f f f f f Maybe I should just call her Miss Thu. Yes, that that's a lot better. <laughs> I'll call her Miss Thu. <sighs> as fetching as these garments are, I feel I fear I shall never don them again. But I can't go back to the Rising Stones without something to show for my time away. Wait, I know what I can do. That is, if you don't mind me accompanying for a little longer. Uh, I don't mind helping you overcome your ch helping you w with, you know, overcoming a challenge. Sometimes all you need is a little boost from a friend, or a little help. Wonderful! Then Takosa Death Soul will go. It's a bit of a gamble, but I'm confident it will pay off. What are you kind of Costa Del Soul for? I mean, okay, you must have something in mind. Maybe she's I don't know going to be training on the crabs out there. <laughs> I mean, which is completely valid. I've done it a little bit. Mostly for the event that was a little bit of time ago. I'm so glad that I chose this half of the main story quest line because I really want to see Tataru grow. Oh, she's adorable. <laughs> actually, I think I might actually- I think I might like her a little more than I like her more than Thangrid. She's just so sweet, you know? And honestly, she deserves all the praise and love for the hard work she does. Not saying that Thangrid doesn't do any. It's just- Administrative work is a real pain in the butt and it's not for everyone. It's not the same as like being up monsters and all that. It's, I dare say, administrative work is a little bit soul-draining. <laughs> yes, this is it! This is where the man at the Drowning Winch told me to look. There's a certain variety of clam which can be harvested this time of year in Bloodshore. One which produces the most marvelous pearls. However, these clams are also coveted by certain wild creatures. And since I fared rather poorly in battle last time, <laughs> uh, let us be off. Well, I'm glad you're trying to pu uh, push past it and, try and improve yourself, Tataru. What in the world is that? Is that an A rank? I think it is.
I mean, they seem to be doing okay. Um, pardon me. I wonder if I should help them out. I mean, it seems like they kept themselves handled, though. But at the same time, I kind of want to be nice and help. But I don't know if they want my help. <laughs> I should help Tataru first, though. Is she planning on summoning a carbuncle with a pearl? Is that what she's trying to do? I'm very curious to see where she's going with this. What fortune, I already found one! Would you be so kind to as keep watch while I work? It should only take a moment. I mean, alright. Um, well, my destination is quite literally right there. <laughs> I'll, I'll throw on, um... I'll, I'll throw on a Thunder 3. Having two, um... Dots on it should help. I don't want to take too much away from them, but I really do need to stand at the spot, and I can't because I'll get hit. You got this! Almost there! Yay! Let's go! Okay, now I can stand at my spot. Thank you! Oh, it's my turn now. <laughs> now I see what they're up to. I understand now. Eat Black Mage Fury! I love Black Mage so much. <laughs> that should be it. Well fought, Nexadron. Well fought. I knew it was the right to ask you to come. As for me, I have my prize! A bounty of blood pearls! So named for the reddish hue, they were treasured as wards against dark magics in ancient times. Ooh, interesting bit of lore. I thought I might make charms for everyone, so that no matter where they go, they will always come home. Very sweet of you. It's sort of the power to defend myself and other people, in a way. Right, well, I mustn't keep Flim in the white awaiting. There's work to be done, and lots of it. We're to secure provisions for the Scions in the Lumens and Markets. You may have an eye for quality, but I have a nose for bargains. I might be heading back to the Rising Stones. So, pray convey my apologies to the Antecedent, and tell her that she needn't worry about me. 
And I tell you what, Tataru, do not give up on your Arcana stuff. It may take a little more time compared to, I don't know, like, someone who... Excuse me, who grasps it more easily. But that's not a reason to give up. I mean, the fact that you easily summoned a Carbuckle. More donut, more donuts, more donut. More donut, more donuts, more donut. <laughs> so silly. Uh, okay, back here again. thinking of a name to uh uh like what name to call this sort of like glam set i've got going on and kind of i think someone mentioned to me like kind of like had wonderland vibes and then it came to me elizin in wonderland with a little bit of a stretch it sounds like alice in wonderland <laughs> Elizabeth in Wonderland. In a in a stretch. <laughs> yeah, she's all good, my dude. My <laughs> yes, it sounds as though she had quite an adventure. And while it did not end as she had hoped, I suspect that it will prove to be a valuable experience. I dare say she could have managed without our intervention. Even so, I appreciate you indulging my request. Well... She wouldn't have gotten those, those blood pearls without me fending off that giant sea creature. Two quests away from being blocked by Circus Tower, it's okay. You know what? Maybe I should save that for next Final Fantasy session. And I could take that section of the stream and turn it into a video. Hey. <laughs> Actually, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I secretly kind of wanted to make more videos on raids. <laughs> I wonder, do you perchance recall the commitment I made to furnish Hori Boulder with a capable adventure? Well, I am sorry to say that I have as yet been unable to do so. Now I've realized that you are rather more than a capable adventurer. And that escort duty is frankly beneath a man of your talents, but uh, I have no one else to turn to at present. M might you be willing to forego rest and assist us in this matter? Minfila, you are killing me on the inside. Jenner's to a fault. I think you, Noxatron. 
Now, it only seems it seems only fair that I explain the important uh, import of the task in question. What was the wrap-up quest? Oh. Well, hey, when I when I go to do that raid stuff, I mean, you're more than welcome to, you know, raid with me and help guide me. <laughs> because I, I, I feel like it will be prudent to have a more experienced person with me, so I don't immediately get myself killed. <laughs> Plus, it's always more fun to raid with with others, you know. Not saying it isn't with with people you don't know, but you know, it's just nice having that uh, co that comfort of familiarity. Okay. Hello, son. Just eat yourself in and heal yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't want to give them a reason f for them not to revive me, okay? <laughs> I want to at least try. <laughs> oh. I do not want to be that idiot black mage that immediately gets themselves killed. That's all. <laughs> okay. Our order has employed a handful of scholars to travel around at yours. He had taken etheric readings that we might better understand the impact of primal summonings. Every time you, uh, you do them and roulette, people are always dying. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I'd say if I can avoid dying, then we Gucci. I don't know. I just don't feel like dying. <laughs> Dead mage can't deal damage. That's my philosophy. And it's the biggest reason why I actually move. Naturally, it behooves us to ensure our employees' safety. And so we ask the ventures in our service to serve as escorts. Yeah, there might be some logic there. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, you're gonna take a DPS loss if you move as Black Mage. But compare that to being dead and having to take a little more time to revive you, regardless of swift cast or not. But I feel like that's like more seconds wasted. That's my humble opinion on the subject. <laughs> yeah, there's always that one person who keeps getting mirrored, ancient flared, etc, etc. Thankfully, I don't think any of those have happened to me yet. Yeah, for the most part, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, wait, the, the bosses? Yeah, they kind of are. I mean, I did have my experience with Crystal Tower. And uh, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be, so... Yeah, your DPS while you're taking a dirt half is zero. <laughs> Exactly! The Hori, Boulder, and Coltonet were to act as two such escorts, as was a third adventurer. Alas, due to injury, said adventurer is not presently fit for duty, hence my need to impose upon your goodwill. You are truly a pillar of strength, Dr. <laughs> Okay, Hori Boulder will share the details of my desk, yay. I, I will try to be safe, but no promises. I'm explodey black mage. <laughs> you know something? I've got a small itch to play more Guilty Gear Strive. Like, I really want to learn some combo recipes that my friend Bingo sent me. He's a really sweet guy, by the way. You might see him uh, from time to time in Robbie Falls' channel. Which, I believe I introduced you, Jimmy, to them, and... 
uh, I, I don't know if I ever did for Dreadwing, but I, I know you've been around Dusty a lot, and she's probably raided Robbie a few times. No, it's like different communities. We're all pretty close-knit. Oh, got an ad break in about a minute, so... I'll go ahead and get through this text and then just wait. <laughs> Huzzah! What did I tell you, Colnet? Our misfortune has become a blessing. An opportunity to serve alongside the warrior of light himself. Oh yeah, I forgot these two are big fans. <laughs> Need I remind you that we have three scholars to escort, each of whom will take a different route? True, true. But our mission is the same. Separated by Mons we may be, but in spirit we shall be together. Ha! <laughs> uh, if such thoughts bring you joy, you are welcome to think them. To more practical concerns, Oxygen, we would have you attend to the scholar charged with surveying the South Shroud. Okay. He's waiting at Camp Tranquil. Okay. I think ads are starting now. Sorry I wasn't able to read all of the text out loud. <laughs> Should be okay though. We've pretty much got the gist of what we need. I'm thinking of doing the we where we are needed. And then maybe call it a night because I am feeling a little bit just a little bit drained of energy. Not a bad thing, but when you gotta read like so much text. <laughs> it it could it could overload your brain a little bit. Especially especially for like neurodivergent people, I think. Cause it, it can be a lot of information overload. <gasps> Look! A fellow Dusk White! Let's go! A very dignified looking Elizabeth. Where are you getting ads, Jimmy? I'm so. Oh, wait a second. Did your sub just run out? I swear, yeah, you had it. Oh, it must have just ran out. <laughs> That's unlucky. It ran out midstream. I've never seen that happen before. Usually whenever one of my subs ran out, it would happen during like an off day or whatever. <laughs> but for it running... Yeah, reading all the dialogue out loud is pretty tiring too. It's... <laughs> Poor Jimmy. <laughs> oh. Uh... Tell you what. Hold on one second, I'm gonna tab out real fast so there'll be no game audio. Alright, there you go, Jimmy. <laughs> Just consider it a little, little gift of generosity there. Don't expect it to happen all the time, though. <laughs> it's just so unfortunate it happened midstream. Ugh. I know I'm supposed to be saving, but I, I can I can afford to fork over a gift sub. Just one. Keep tranquil. Oh wait, hold on a second. Why is my firewall? You don't mind ads? It's okay. Let my hatred of ads prevail. Okay, Firewall, can you please stop being mad at OBS? Thank you. <laughs> My Firewall got angry for a second. Un 
unsettled scholar. Oh, lovely. I. At last, the science man deigns to grace me with his presence. Pity we ha that we have no time for pleasantries. Our first destination is some horror. Come, we are late enough as it is. Okay. Time to get dragged around. I have nothing to fear. I'm a big, scary black mage. Rawr. <laughs> I want to laugh at it, but also cringe at what I just did. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's raining in Gridania. I'm not mistaken, I think you, there are like botanist spots around here somewhere. I don't know, I could be wrong. All does and no bucks. Yes, this location should suffice. Once I finish calibrating my instruments, I will require but a moment to take the necessary measurements. I trust I need not explain that my work can suffer no interruptions. Then please, stand at an appropriate distance and keep watch for wild beasts. Oh, thank you, son. That's so kind of you. Hey, Robbie got one and the cipher, too. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, son. You're too kind. Seriously, you did not have to do that, but I am very appreciative. Oh, lovely. Well. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to focus on single targets because they're too, they're way too uh, spread apart. <laughs> ah, scathe worked. Refund plus interest. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I see we have completed both. Uh, we both completed our respective tasks. Satisfactory outcome. No, if I could make one suggestion, you might try to dispatch your foes more quietly in the future. I do not like to pick fault, but I really must be allowed to concentrate. I can't exactly help black magic here. I mean, I, uh, can't win with scholars, man. Snake molt. Oh, well, that sounds lovely. I wonder what's there. Snakes. Dirt. <laughs> All right, let's t get on with it. Yeah, self-absorbed nerd. You make the rest of us nerds look s silly. How dare they? You're lucky I don't kick you in the shins. And you're lucky we need you. Right about here, yes. As before, I would ask that you keep an eye out for dangerous bases at work. Okay! No promises on not being able to cause a ruckus. Or to prevent it, I should say.
like even if we're, my magic were silent, these things are gonna go kaboom and try to hit me. I see. Angry cheek it, it's what it deserves. Yeah, I mean, it did kind of come at me out of nowhere. Fascinating. These readings are not at all what I expected. Though perhaps I should come, that should come as no surprise. I'm not given to superstition, but there is a queer, almost blasphemous air hereabouts. Let's quit this place and return to Roots Lake. We have one more site to survey. A stealth mission if no one gets a message out. Huh? <laughs> Silence tree. There will be no Lorax for you. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> mm, I had a feeling if I did the sprint button, I would have made it. Oh well, I don't care. I'm back to full health anyways. I'll end up repairing my gear at some point too. Oh fun, look at all the revenants here. They always look like a bunch of glowy eggs with funny tails. Yes. No witnesses. He he he. As before, my garden, pray lead me to my task and ensure our safety. Okay, nerd. <sighs> All right. I actually have to make sure I don't get hit by the AoEs because they do silence. Which is annoying, by the way, if you're a spellcaster. They keep spamming it! Bah! Need more of that, apparently. Maybe I just have to do more instants. Can I, can I please keep logged onto this? Thank you. Good riddance. I attracted the Taurus's attention. I can't see because of the trees. Did I slaughter a creep of adamantoises while my your back was turned? No, it was only one. You know, I really would like to throw him into a really dirty mud puddle, puddle and like and see how he likes it. 
Speaking of which, there's a whole giant swamp right here. I don't see why I couldn't push you into it. I mean, after all, I, mean, I could just, I, you just slipped and fell, and it's just a little bit of an accident, right? I mean, you're in one piece, so it should be fine. What if he loves it? I highly doubt it. He seems like a snot-nosed brat. <laughs> You chose to paddle in the acre a while longer, I take it. No matter. I took advantage of my unexpected privacy and performed a cursory analysis of my data. Oh, how I'd like to punt you into the swamps. It would appear there has been a measurable decrease in Eorzea's ambient ether concentration since the calamity. However, this data is far from conclusive. You must take additional measurements to confirm my assessment. Oh, lovely. Thinning of ether. We all know what that means. Calamity. Again. <sighs> A humble scholar? No. <laughs> I'm gonna deal with the scholar next week. Or at least, like, get myself to the, um, circus tower stuff. <sighs> what is it, like, right after this one? I'll, I'll get the quest accepted, at the very least. Earth found, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a good stretch. My model will go over for a second. <sighs> that felt good. Good stretch. Actually, maybe that's what I needed. It was just a good stretch. Still feel a little tired though. <sighs> mm. <sighs> I want to look happy now. Really, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Can't wait till I get an upgrade so I can be a little more expressive. <laughs> I mean, my voice is expressive, but having a visual to match it <laughs> would be nice. Let's go. This annoying place. I have no idea how the, any of the emotional visual stuff works. A lot of rigging. <laughs> my my current model is just like bare bones basic, like to <laughs> to get myself to be doing at the very least. Yeah, rigging and shading. You can tell a lot of stories with with light light manipulation alone. Combine that with like a little bit of, with some rigging, and then bam, you can come up with some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> it's a bit. I think it's a bit like uh, 
time consuming to learn, but it's, I mean, it's well worth it, I think. Because, mind you, for us who aren't like super familiar with like VTuber stuff, like rigging is quite costly because it takes a lot of work. So, y y you know, high cost as a result. Yeah, yeah, I know. I find a spot, you do your thing, and then you stop, and you, you continue to be a snot nosed brat to me. Even so. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah, even with a PNG tuber, honestly, you don't have to, you don't have to have a 3D model, like, right off the bat, or a 2D. Like, I, I mean, just use an image, my dude. Yes, yes, quite high, yet still markedly lower than historical measurements taken near the end of the Sixth Astral Era. Does the presence of a primal account for the difference? Or is there something else? Something else? Please tell me he doesn't find that blade. Two words, angry eyebrows. <laughs> angry. Angry because small. <laughs> Something else. What? What? Well, there he is. What in the world is he doing here? Well, we found the poor kid. Sheesh. Hey, kids, want to see a dead body? Let's just hope he's passed out. Nope. Never mind. Get it like a hog. <sighs> Get it like a hog. But not by one, no. These wounds were made with a blade. Doesn't look like he put much up much of a fight, either. Nary a mark on his sword or his shield. Why did Wilred come here? Okay. This just escalated to a hundred. A little murder to make the story intriguing? You've gotta be kidding me. Hmm. Well, then. Not like it's a precursor to anything, right? Huh, 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 right, right? <laughs> Lovely. No, don't you dare, son. No. 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 Do that. If you spoil the significant stuff, I will time out open. <laughs> you troll. Time out for you. <gasps> Everyone lives happy, happily ever after. Extra time out for you. <laughs> you know how people say there's no rest for the wicked? Well, tell you what, there's no rest for the nice people either. You'll take time on the flower field. <laughs> Do you genuinely want to be timed out though? <laughs> I I'm just asking, to be honest. I mean, I can do it for you. <laughs> this is like a little small joke. 
I do mess with people from time to time. <laughs> you don't care? All right, then. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you one for free. Great timing, Nightbot. What? <laughs> I'll just do it for 20 seconds. Huzzah, you have been bunked. Yeah, the feels train runs on a loop line. Hmm. Um, well, well, Red is kind of dead and gutted. Murdered, yeah. Oh, Wilbur's family's gonna be upset. Sweet liberation. <laughs> Stop it. Ran yourself in, silly. It's just a boy, yeah. Who would do this and why? But I'm sorry, Noxadrin. That list this way is heavy on your heart. We have already imposed upon you so much. Yes, I know. You keep profusely apologizing by pushing everything out of me. And I never get rest. Never. You're lucky I'm st I've got the patience of a saint. Yes, you better let me have time for myself or I'm going to be... Mm. Yep, certain quests in the Crystal Tower series. Okay, we've gotten to the point, officially, where we're left on a cliffhanger of who done it, and we'll enter Circus Tower next week. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go ahead and call it here for the night. <laughs> Don't you just love cliffhangers? Tola teaches many lessons. <laughs> what lessons? Oh no. Yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, what? I'm pretty sure I put something. I put Darkest Dungeon down for. I think it's Saturday. E. Yeah. We'll be doing some of that. If you guys are interested in swinging by then. Same time as today. Uh, stream started. Well. Hopefully more on time. <laughs> I had to hop into the shower and, uh... Take care of the dogs. That's why I was a bit late. <laughs> but yes, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think. I really hope I didn't get the calendar wrong. <laughs> okay, bye!